hated the most, so I keep my haters close. Let them know I want to smoke. Hey yo, what's up boomers? Welcome back to another brand new tutorial. Now, number one, if you guys want to watch this edit, I'll have it on my Instagram link below. Two, if you got three, to get this um effects or transitioner, you'll need to fire plugin. We are going to be working with these clip right here. Let me play the video without any transition or effects. So this was without any transition. First thing, what we have to do is disable the resample. Go to this menu right here. Uh, it's called selection something. Yeah, there you go. And then you want to select all your clip and then right click, go to switches, then disable resample right here. Once you're done, go back to the normal one. You can click D twice or just click right here. Okay, so now we are going to be adding shake effects. So just go here and look for dissolve shake right here and then drag the default one on your first clip right here. So first thing first, what we're going to do is you can leave the way the all the settings are unless you know what you're doing. You can change it up just like X and Y, you know, up and down and whatever. Anyways, so we are going to be working with this one dissolve amount. Now don't, do not try to put this all the way up because if you do, this is what will happen. Don't try to put it all the way. If you guys, the highest you can go is I think 300. I think I test it out. Yeah. So the highest you can go is 300. But in this, to get these shakes, um, we're going to put about hundred and then click on this little clock thing right here. And also before you do anything else, have this clip, uh, this button right here. Uh, locked anyways Let's um, animate this so it's pretty simple to um, animate. It's not that hard We're gonna go about like near the end of the clip and then put this zero or you can just type in zero Whatever. It's the same thing. Okay, so now let's see how this clip Looks like I'm gonna pre-render this if you don't know how to pre-render uh, it's just shift and B um, I don't know if you guys like the shakes, but I think it looks okay. It's not that good, but hey, it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's work on the second one. Same thing. Drag the default one and then drag it to the your drag it to the second clip. Put about 100. By the way, you can change the numbers. You don't really have to put 100. You can put 200. Whatever looks good on your clip. So again, we're gonna go near the end, about like right here. Not the very end but like near the end so it's about right here i don't know we're gonna make this zero close this out and see how it looks pre-render this all right let's work on the third one same thing you can actually save this right here blow loss save it and then click save so you don't have to do it again and again but me i'm just i don't know i'll just i don't really have to save it because i don't know i don't feel like saving it <laughs> put zero let's pre-render this all right let's do it on the uh the third one I mean the last one let's see this time we're gonna do about 150 again go about near the end you don't really have to go near the end it's just really up to you but I'm um, this is how I got this shake Now, I don't know if you guys like the shakes or not, but let's add zoom out transition. So go to S blur my curves right here. Drag the default one on the first clip. And then now this is the settings that you have to change right here. X and Y. Make it put it to reflect. And now um, I do recommend you to save this one. So just save it. 
name it whatever you want and then click save right here now we're gonna work with Z dist right here so click on this little clock thing and then go here we're gonna animate this so let's put about I don't know I'm just putting a random number here and then go about one two three four five six six frames and then put zero point eight five you don't really have to put the numbers that I'm putting again please um, you can put whatever number you want but uh, I'm just gonna show you how it's done I guess okay now for the first clip you want to right click and then make it fast fade now at the end this is what you do make it put it to default which is 1.000 I don't know how it looks, but let's <laughs> let's try this one. So uh, we're gonna do the, pretty much the same thing. First, we're going to put zero point four five. Enter. Then click on this little clock thing right here. And now we're gonna go about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna go seven because this clip is I think a little longer so and make it about put the value right here make the first keyframe fast fade and then go at the end and then make a default drag it to the end now let's work on the third clip right here same thing from the beginning go about one two three four five six seven i'm gonna do the same thing on this clip as well and now go about go at the end drag it to the end right here make this fast and the last clip right here Click on this little clock thing right here. Oops, I'm gonna go about right here. 0 0.850. Hopefully I am not going too fast for you guys. If you guys think I'm going too fast, uh, make sure to use the YouTube setting wheel thing and then slow slow down the video. That's how you're gonna get it. Let's pre-render this. Let's pre-render everything. And see how it looks. Okay, so now let's play this video. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys liked it, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and do all the other stuff. 